Hi, it's Jared from the Touring Camper, and this is our new to us 1976 Silver Streak Continental Luxury Liner Supreme, uh, or Supreme Luxury Liner, let me get that correct. So what you see here is an anodized aluminum camper. Uh, the difference between this and an Airstream is that the skin of this and the ribbing is actually mounted to the frame. So I could take the entire floor out to redo it. That's why an amateur like Kristen and I, we think we can try to restore this one. That's the goal. We got it home yesterday. I've already done a quick video, quick walk around. So if you just want to see the short version, take a look at that one. It's going to be a longer video. I'm going to probably take about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to walk around and show you all kinds of neat features. Uh, it came with these original old rock guards. Uh, one of the reasons why we like it is when we get on the inside, there's 18 feet of windows all the way around it. I'll actually even show you this. This pops up. Some of this is all original hardware and it stays up. So there, there's your front windows. Um, as we're going down this side of the coach, not much to show major on this side. Uh, it did come with leveling jacks. It came with a gray and a black tank. Uh, the one awning here is missing. We're going to have to figure out something about that. These ones are shot. Uh, the amazing, the scare lights, all four scare lights still work. We towed it home, we got home after dark last night. Some of the clearance lights work, some of them don't. We'll have to keep working on that. Uh, you see these, these are the weep holes. And uh, the directions in, came out in about the mid 80s that they were supposed to caulk these shut. So we'll probably have to get all that caulk and that old caulk out of there and put new in. We're gonna get new ribbing for it. Uh, so that's about all to show on this side. And we'll go around the other side. I'll point out a few things on the other side and then we'll head inside, so. It did come with the electric tongue jack originally. Um, this is probably a replacement tongue jack, but it did come with an electric tongue jack. So when we come down this side, uh, you see it does have the full awning on it. That'll have to be replaced. We know that. Uh, most everything is serviceable. That was one of the other things is you can open these compartments. This gets to the refrigerator. That's an extra storage compartment. Most of the things on the Silver Streaks were serviceable by the average person. Most everything was good to go. Show them on the back. Okay, yeah, let's come around to the back. This is reminding me to show you the back, and this is a pretty cool feature. Another reason why we really like it, um, we're really super excited, if you can't tell. One of the problems we often have heard with vintage trailers is where do you store your stuff? Well, this one here is pretty awesome because it has a full trunk. Right now, I have a full size spare in there that the guy I bought it from gave us. Um, it, just to get home, but you can see if I could fit a full-size spare in there I could fit a lot of stuff in here. One of the other reasons why we like it is because it's got a triple I-beam all the way down through it So one of the concerns we've had is where do we put our bikes? That's why we were looking at toy haulers for a while Well from what we've read is you can actually take this back bumper off and I could bolt a four bike carrier back here on the back and it's not going to cause a problem whatsoever with the frame so we're interested in looking at those options that may or may not happen. We see it's got a sticker here from Fort Worth, Texas and one from Utah. So we know it's seen some mileage. One of the receipts says Oklahoma that we got with it. So it's been around. So the next thing I'm going to show you is probably one of, I think, the coolest things. It's got this double door. Now the double door has caused a little bit of damage because it wasn't sealed properly. But you've got your main door that then I'll unlatch on the inside here got a second door and that's how you get your screen door now the issue this was not as you can tell these seals are way shot that's what caused some floor damage in here but that's the only soft spot so we'll get that fixed up and I'm not real concerned about getting that done you might want to ring the doorbell but... oh yeah if Kristen steps inside I'll let her step inside with the camera first and yes these were so luxurious at the time, they even came with a... See if I can get it to work. <laughs> they even came with a doorbell, which is pretty amazing. Um, most everything is functioning. We don't know about the stove. We haven't tried the stove uh, or the plumbing. We'll have to look into that. They had the refrigerator plugged in. The refrigerator was working, no problems. Um, some of the other things light up, the battery meter and some other things. So as I'm walking back, I'll walk backwards and then we'll look at the front of the coach. So over here we have a galley. Uh, amazing little thing. It's even got a water filter in here. It even has a switch that, let's see if I can get it on. 
you close the door and it opens so it'll automatically turn the light on whenever you're in there it's got to pull out cutting board you know places to put your cookie sheets i mean at the time this sucker was a top of the line um Kristen, where was the central vac at? Was that down in here? That is under okay. the bunk, right there. That. That okay. little... One of the other reasons why we like it is you can see the storage of bounds. There are two full-length closets here, and then there's two more full-length closets back. I don't want to open this one because this glass panel fell down yesterday. So there you see three max air vents on the top of it. Um, this here is a curtain slider, which is still in place. That might get replaced with a pocket door is what we're thinking. As we start to step back, this cabinet here is original and it has a place where the TV would have a pull out slide on the TV with a pull down to keep it in there. Uh, it has had an updated antenna at some point. We'll have to look at the guts of that. Another big closet over here. Uh, quite frankly, if you're a Silver Streak person, we might want to talk to you about uh, if you're looking to restore back to original. These cabinets here are probably going to come out as well as some of these lights and wire bins and things. Uh, this bunk areas is where we're going. Well, they're not bunks yet. They're just twin beds at the moment, but they're going to become bunks. So we're going to put a bunk on each side over here. We're going to put a bunk over each side over here for the kiddos, and then one side will be a bunk. The other side will probably be like a gaucho couch for the kiddos. Um, this here, if you've never seen this, I have never seen this in a camper. It is pretty cool. That is the water tank. So it is, I don't know how many gallons, but it's a galvanized or aluminum, I don't know what metal it is, but that's where you would put the water in. And rather than having a water pump, it has an air pump and the air pressurizes this tank and when it pressurizes this tank that's how it pushes water throughout the camper we're not sure if we're going to keep that um i've heard mixed reviews on whether that should stay or not most likely that will get replaced so once again silver streakers you're looking for original that's an original um, under this side uh, we've got lots of bins put things in we're right back in here, right, Kristen? No, the nope. vacuum is right here. It's right here. I'm right sorry. I'm trying to show. Right here, this came with a central vacuum cleaner at the time. So 1976, that's, you know, better than some of the luxury fifth wheels we see today. Come on back to the bathroom. It's not real tight because it's a, a rear bath. So over here, we have a commode. We have your sink. Um, as you can see, a lot of the original lights are still working. We have two closets on this side, nice big closets. Hot water tank has been replaced, that's underneath there. We have a closet on this side, another full length wardrobe closet. Kristen's probably gonna have a hard time getting that in there. And then I'm gonna open this and then step out of the way so she can come in and show you the shower as best she can. I'd probably need to put a wide angle on. Um, it's a little dark. A little dark, a little tight. I'm going to step in there. <laughs> it's going to be fun. a little cramped. It's going to be a little shower. cramped taking a shower. I'm not sure exactly how I'd get back under here. We're going to need to put in a new shower head. We'll put a new shower head with like a, a faucet so maybe I can come over here. But the whole light in the bathroom thing, bath shower thing, is also kind of making me a little nervous. But we'll figure out a solution for that. All right. As Kristen walks to the front of the coach, she'll turn right back around and I'll show you one other feature that we are just so excited about. <laughs> it has pocket doors. We didn't know if it would have that. It almost got damaged in transport. I didn't tell Kristen that because this didn't stay down and it came open, but we're okay. Um, you can see there's registers, so the heat actually does get pushed all the way to the back, back which is pretty amazing. Um, I don't know what that is. That looks like that was added. It looks like there were some tank heaters added at some point uh, to keep some tanks hot. That's what we're looking, thinking these ones up here are. Um, so it's, I'm going to swing past Kristen and uh, we're going to look here at the front end. As you can see, I've not done this yet. This might be scary. I'm going to sit on this couch. We don't know if this is original or not, but this couch, these side tables are going to definitely be coming out. Um, this will stay and we'll get the curtain. This table here will be coming out. Um, 
we're not going to be using that table, so that'll be up for grabs for a silver streaker if you want that. I mean, we're talking, folks, if you're really into it, we're going to see if we're going to keep these. I don't know, but that's original. That's absolutely original in 1976. Down here, it's got another vent. You can see the furnace was vented everywhere, so it was all throughout. Um, kind of our thinking, our plan is there's going to be a couch here that I'm going to design that's going to fold out this way and it'll be a double bed. One person will sleep horizontally this way, one person will sleep horizontally this way. Uh, that's all in the planning stages. We, we were looking at that when we were trying to decide whether to go with it where Kristen and I would sleep because the kiddos are back there. We're going to probably put a very narrow some kind of shelf here. The idea is that a table is going to fold up, not that quite that table. We've seen some things in some Airstream forums. Table is going to fold up, going to pull out, slide out. That way two or three people could be sitting at the couch, probably two people sitting at that couch here, have a couple little stools so all five of us can be sitting around a table here. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this tour. Uh, we are super excited. We're going to be keeping track of what we do, uh, posting our progress on the website. You'll see some things on social media. So we're going to get started on this. The goal is maybe a year, maybe a year and a half. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. Once it gets done, then we'll sell the other one, and this will be our full-time uh, camper rather than the other one, and we won't have to go back and forth. So once again, Jarrett with the Touring Camper. It's a 1976 Silver Street Continental um, Supreme Lux Luxury Liner Supreme. So we're pretty excited. We hope you uh, enjoy watching us as we restore this project. Thanks for watching.